So uh, here I have a very unique sledge build. Um, this was built off the Fuji Nevada and a uh, pretty light bike. Um, but as you can see here, um, what you don't often see around is the mini cyclone motor. And uh, this is a very torquey mid drive. And of course, the benefit of mid drive motors is I can pedal in parallel with the motor but also utilize my bike transmission. Um, one other unique thing you're gonna see here is it's powered off a T-Volt, 60 volt flexible battery pack. Um, so circling back to uh, the goal of this build, it was just to make something very light and very powerful. Um, so it is uh, powered by a 60 volt controller that uh, peaks at 42 amps. Um, so uh, it provides really popular power um, and uh, is, is, it's just incredibly powerful for the weight. Um, previously, I had actually had the motor or had the bike running off the ESXT motor, which I have right here. And uh, just a comparison um, for size, you can see the BBSHD is much bigger. And also, um, I would say probably like three pounds heavier, three, four pounds heavier than the Mini Cyclone. Um, so I was very surprised with this build um, because the Mini Cyclone is, uh, is actually definitely a torqueier motor than the BBSHD. Um, one downside is it is a little loud. Um, it sounds like a 50cc scooter. Um, going down the street but uh, you got incredible power with this thing it's just and it just has a lot of torque um, so it's a lot of fun to ride um, uh, so circling back to the power source the D volt 60 volt flexible battery um, I went with this because I found out that D volt the 9 amp version which technically is 3 amps when you're running at 60 volts actually is using 21 700 cells so these have a very high discharge rate, um, and I needed that for a controller that was putting out 42 amps. Uh, and uh, so this works very well. It just snaps right in, and uh, so then we can uh, move up to the controls. Um, so right here, you can see that it has a voltage display. I have right here a USB power adapter, the on and off switch, and kind of come around to the other side. You can see the motor. And uh, I swapped out the rear tire with the Maxxis Minion PHRs. Um, and uh, kept the front tire stock but I really needed some extra traction um, in order to really sink this power into the ground um, so I had to go with a much grippier tire and this worked out really well this is a 2.8 um, for the rear 2.25 for the front um, and uh, like I said incredibly light you know it's this thing is great for ripping through the trails. Um, with the benefit of having such a light bike with this kind of power is, you know, you can still pedal it like a normal bike. It's not, you haven't added too much weight onto it. Um, but, you know, in a pinch, you hit a hill, um, you can just really sink some serious power into the ground. Um, and uh, so I'll just uh, show you what some of that power looks like. So here's an example of the power of the mini cyclone running at 42 amps off a D-Wolf 90 amp battery pack. And so I'm not popping really wheel up or anything. This is just the motor. So this is just power wheeling. Um, 
see the BBS HD there. The BBS HD um, does not do that. Say the one downside is it's pretty loud. Um, BBS HD is almost silent, um, but the Mini, that's the one trade-off. You got a you got a very powerful motor that it, it, going down the street it'll whiz like a 50cc scooter, but you got some incredible power to go with it. So. Um, And so again, I have a throttle here, got a voltage display, on off switch. This is a the USB adapter. And inside, we'll quickly zoom in to that controller. Um, so uh, you can see here, 42 amps, um, 60 volts. Um, it says uh, 1500 watts on the controller, but you do that math out, um, 60 volts times 42 amps, that's more like a 2400 watt peak. Um, so that's where that really popping power comes from. Oh. Um, so just to finish things off, um, obviously this is a mid-drive motor. Um, your top speed, you know, it depends on what gear you're in. Um, you, know, you can keep changing gears and end up hitting as well as over 35 miles an hour. Um, but the cool thing is, in first and second gear, you're popping wheelies. Um, and uh, again, the benefit of this build is it is super light. Um, you just generally don't get this kind of power in such a light pack. Um, so uh, of course, when you're running 42 amps at 60 volts, the range isn't going to be fantastic. Um, but again, the benefit of this build is the motor and batteries aren't adding much weight. And so you can still pedal this thing with a normal bike, but um, if you feel like going faster, don't feel like pedaling. This thing is quite the sprinter. And uh, again, you got incredible power. Um, so uh, yeah, hope you like the build.